In my best-selling X Factor system, I go through a ton of psychological tips and tricks that will make your ex wish that they'd never left you. In fact, some of these tips are so powerful that it can only take just a matter of days before your ex comes crawling back. Now, one of my most popular psychological tactics is what I call the clean slate email. In this email template, I teach exactly what you need to say to your ex if you've already begged and pleaded to get him or her back. And if, if you've watched some of my other videos here on YouTube, then you know that begging and pleading actually makes you less attractive to your ex. And if you do it enough, you can effectively blow your chances of getting back together with your ex for good. Now, since this was such a common issue with almost all of my clients, I designed an email that solves this problem and puts your ex at what I like to call emotional neutral. And that means basically after reading this message, um, they're not gonna harbor any negative feelings for you. They're basically just at an emotional neutral state. Um, but can the same thing be accomplished by sending a short little text message? Well, today in this video, we are gonna find out. What is up YouTube? Um, of course, it is Brad Browning here. And like I said, in this video, I'm going to share with you three texts that you can send to your ex right after you've begged and pleaded for him or her to get him or her back. Now, before I get into the goods, um, I think I should explain quickly why begging and pleading is bad and why it makes your ex less attracted to you. See, when human beings decide uh, to mate with somebody, usually they'll try and mate with somebody of similar or higher social status. Now, the higher the social status, the more attractive he or she will be to the opposite sex. And this is true for both men and women. And that's why women are more attracted to the lead singer of a band than to the bass player, for example. And in order to get your ex to want you back, you need to showcase your social value without making it seem obvious. And furthermore, begging and pleading, you know, it shows your ex how little value you have, and it's just gonna reaffirm your ex's decision to break up with you in the first place. Now, like I've said in many other videos, if you want your ex to come back, you need to do um, things that will demonstrate how you are a great catch. And there are a number of, of behaviors that you can engage in to convey that message. Uh, but if you're watching this video right now, you've probably been demonstrating some low value behavior uh, up until this point. Uh, don't worry though, all is not lost. You can begin reversing the process of making your ex attracted to you again, and, and you can get your ex back even if you've begged and pleaded for weeks. And it all starts with, drum roll please, the clean slate templates. Now these are simple but powerful messages that you can send to your ex right now to begin the process of making him or her want you back again. And in this video, I'm gonna share with you three of these text messages that you can use right now to begin that exact process. Now first, I have a quick warning. Um, I wanna warn you that this isn't as simple as just sending one of these text messages and hoping for the best. You really need to combine this tactic with the other strategies that I outline in my X Factor program if you wanna optimize your chances. And if you wanna learn more about, about those tactics and how to use them effectively, head over to breakupbrad.com right now and watch that free video presentation. Again, that URL is breakupbrad.com and you'll wanna watch that before you start using these texts. Okay, let's jump into text number one, which is what I call the fresh start text. So let me dive into an example and I'll break it down for you after. So for example, you could say something like, hey, I have to apologize for acting so irrationally over the few days. I feel a lot better about myself right now and I'm off to a fresh start. Now it's important not to make excuses for your behavior or you're gonna to continue to look desperate. So it's important that you own up to the mistakes that you've made in the past, apologize for them, and then move on. This is highly attractive behavior and you'll make your ex feel like you're on the, they're on the right path moving forward. Now, I've talked about this before in a ton of other videos, um, but this text message must be followed by engaging in no contact for at least 30 days. You know, if you feel like you've done a lot of begging and pleading after the breakup, then more than 30 days might even be required. Um, it's important to note that you won't be able to change your ex's mind overnight, right? I mean, building attraction takes days or weeks. So keep that in mind um, and don't look for the quick fix result because it doesn't exist. Now, the second text message is what I like to call the good breakup text. And it goes something like this. I have to apologize for my behavior over the fast, last few days. Uh, I was super emotional and I wasn't myself. I know that this breakup is probably a good thing in the long run. Now, if you've done a lot of begging and pleading after the breakup, um, then this is one of the best text messages that you can send. Now, it's good because you're apologizing and not making an excuse for your behavior. But unlike the first example that I mentioned a second ago, you go a step further and you say that the breakup was actually a good idea. Now this is a more aggressive way of telling your ex that you're ready to move on. 
And this is most definitely gonna put your ex at ease and feel unthreatened by you. And then at this point, you can start using some of the more advanced tactics and techniques that I've outlined in my X Factor program. And you can learn more about those as I just mentioned at breakupbrad.com. But again, like I just mentioned, in the first message, um, you have to engage in no contact after sending this second one as well. Um, that is absolutely crucial. Now, this final text message is for people who really did go overboard with the, the begging and pleading. Maybe you've done something even worse by acting overly emotional and irrational. So if you're afraid that you've blown your chances of getting your ex back because of this, um, then it's logical that you need to make an excuse in order to get your ex back. Your ex isn't gonna wanna date someone who's, who's that un emotionally unstable. So in order to counter that, you can say something like, um, I'm sorry, I've, I've been going through a lot of personal things that I, I didn't really tell you about, um, and that's why I've been acting this way. I know I have to stop and I'm working on myself. Uh, you won't be hearing me from, me from me for a little while. Something along those lines. And unlike the first two examples that I mentioned earlier, um, in this case, you're coming up with a, with a cryptic reason as to why you've been acting the way you have. And you're directly saying that you won't be contacting him or her for the next little while. If you've done a lot of very aggressive begging and pleading, this text message can go a very long way in making your ex return to, to emotional neutral. But again, um, no contact in this example will have to be implemented in full. Now, if you're unsure about your chances of getting your ex back, um, then you're in luck because I've actually developed a quiz tool um, that will help you determine your chances of recovering your relationship. If you wanna take that five minute quiz, just head over to breakupbrad.com quiz. And on that page, you're just gonna be asked a few specific questions about your ex and your, your situation. And then at the end, you're gonna be given a score um, that'll tell you what your chances are, as well as some custom tailored advice based on your situation. If you wanna take that quiz, it's at breakupbrad.com quiz. It's completely free, it takes five minutes. All right, and that is all I have for you today. Thanks very much for watching everyone and good luck.